Howdy, my name is Erin, and today I will be defending that the diaphorny citri, commonly known as the Asian citrus psyllid, is a better invading species. Howdy, I'm Kimball, and I'm defending the Anaphylophria glabri penis, also known as the Asian longhorn beetle, to be a better invading species. We are debating which would be the better invading species out of the diaphorny citri, Asian citrus psyllid, and the Anaplophora glabropenis, Asian longhorn beetle. The diaphorini citri, also known as the Asian citrus psyllid, would make the better invading species. While this insect might have originated in South Asia, it has spread to various parts of the world, the most recent being North and South America. This pest is a vector for the disease citrus wanglong being, or HLB, which is the disease responsible for citrus greening. This disease causes citrus to take on an unappealing shape and green color, as well as have a bitter taste. HLB is the most serious disease of citrus since there is not yet a cure after a tree has been infected. The insects feed on the stems and leaves of citrus crops by inserting their stylus to feed on the phloem, which is the site of disease transference for the plant. When the Asian citrus psyllid lays eggs, the new fresh eggs are shaped like an oval and are pale yellow in color. All mature eggs that are about to hatch are a vibrant orange with two red eye spots. The Asian citrus psyllid as an adult can be identified by its small size, mottled brown wings, and three main abdominal colors, which are gray-brown, orange-yellow, and blue-green. They also have five instars. In the early instars, they usually stay put and only move when they are disturbed, while in the later instars, they are more mobile and move freely. Adults have a lifespan of up to 117 days, with virgin females reaching almost 188 days. In a two-month span, they can lay anywhere from 500 to 800 eggs, which is only increased in areas of greater humidity. They are notably pretty weak flyers, but they can move anywhere from 30 to 100 meters to new citrus groves, and can be carried 0.5 to 1 meters by the wind. These insects are hard to keep under control since they reproduce quickly and mate multiple times in their life. They transfer the disease through transovarial transmission, which basically means that it is spread from the ovaries to the offspring. While a freeze that kills flesh will also kill most young Asian citrus psyllid, all three stages of the insect can adapt to and survive short periods of cold weather. Since they can acclimate to the weather, that is one less way to eradicate them. The Anaphylophria gobbly penis, also known as the Asian longhorn beetle, would definitely make a better invading species. This insect originated in eastern China and Korea, but now is found all over the world. The longhorn beetle is most commonly known for its presence in the United States in Massachusetts, New York, and Ohio. This beetle has been roaming around hardwood trees causing mass disruption. While the beetle is disrupting and invading the trees, they drill holes all in trees, all the way through the limbs or trunk. This makes the trees very weak and can lead to infection and also parasites. The tree can get as bad as 1,000 holes in one tree. These unique beetles have a body usually around five centimeters long. They have a very shiny black outer skeleton. This makes them rough and tough for any enemies that try to attack them. Their outer skeleton also contains random white dots that can help with camouflage. They have very long white and black antennas. The male antennas are noticeably longer than the females. They do their munching on trees in the late spring and early fall, depending on the climate that they can thrive in the most. The reproduction of these feisty beetles is very consistent and quick. The female beetles lay between 50 and 150 eggs in small holes drilled in the trees. It takes the newborns, newborn beetles around 20 days to develop into an adult. After they are adults, the lifespan of the beetle averages around 70 days. The Asian longhorn beetles are on watch to do some very serious damage to our forest around the world. These beetles have the potential to cause more damage than Dutch elm disease. The Dutch elm disease has destroyed over $1 million in elm trees to this day. To this day, there is no known cure to these dangerous beetles, no spray for trees or anything. This makes them very dangerous to our, for our forest. 
While the Asian longhorn beetle is certainly destructive to the environment, the Asian citrus psyllid is a more successful invasive species. Not only does a species globally impact citrus groves, but it's also more efficient in spreading its destructive disease. For example, Asian citrus psyllids produce more eggs. Adult Asian citrus psyllids produce about 500 to 800 eggs, while adult Asian longhorn beetles only produce between 50 and 150 eggs. In addition, the Asian citrus psyllid has a longer lifespan. Asian longhorn beetles have a lifespan of only 70 days, while Asian citrus psyllids can live anywhere from 117 to 188 days. Furthermore, the Asian citrus psyllid mates multiple times with several partners. Since they transferred the, the disease through reproduction, this makes them a very problematic pest for citrus crops. With both a higher amount of eggs laid and a longer lifespan, it's no question which insect is a better invasive species. From the moment the Asian longhorn beetle is born, its main goal is to destroy trees. I would say they're a more destructive species. The beetle has destroyed millions and millions of trees in short periods of time. This problem can quickly become a huge epidemic across the world. The worst part is there is no cure for the longhorn beetle, but there's chemicals that can be sprayed on the citrus plant to manage the Asian citrus psyllid. The end result of the longhorn beetle roaming and destroying trees with no cure is billions of dollars lost in the tree industry. And this could lead to unemployment of employees in the industry. While there are indeed ways to manage the Asian citrus psyllid, even the most intensive of plants have little to no effect on the spread of the disease responsible for citrus greening. Once a tree is infected with HLB, there's no way to fix it. The only plan of action that researchers have been able to come up with is that prevention is the best way to go. Other than simply removing the infected trees, which is costly and time consuming, they have tried planting nursery stocks that is free of HLB, there's currently no way to truly keep the spread under control. They also have to quarantine their groves when trying to do damage control, which causes both economical and agricultural distress. The main way of eradicating this insect is through parasites and other predators, but this method can't be used once a grove is already infected. Due to this pest, there are several citrus shortages occurring around the globe. The reason that the Asian longhorn beetles are so dangerous and evasive is because they destroy one of the most important resource, resources known to man, which is trees. After the trees are infected with the beetles, the trees require removal and disposal. It has been stated that if the Asian longhorn beetle were to become established in the U U.S. worldwide, it could become one of the most destructive and costly pests to ever enter the industry, destroying trees in urban neighborhoods and our natural forest. Asian citrus psyllids are a better invasive species because they have spread easily around the globe and they are difficult to eradicate. They affect not only the trees that are so important to the many of the products we consume, but also citrus crops. Once a grove is hit with these insects, it's very hard to make a comeback. The Asian citrus psyllid has been resilient in every effort to eradicate them from citrus groves. With their quick reproduction time, long lifespan, and easy mobility to fly to new groves, they have defeated almost every effort to halt their spread of HLB. They have also caused economic and ecological harm through the shortage of citrus available for both producers and consumers, since they have a limited supply and the eradication efforts are very costly. Researchers are still searching for a solution for these detrimental pests, whether it be trying to find new ways to eradicate them or finding a way to rid them of HLB entirely, they have stayed a current topic of research. These insects are important to study because of their large impact on citrus crops. The fact that these insects have been around for so long, yet there still isn't an effective way to get rid of them, proves that this is an invasive species that is here to stay. The Asian longhorn beetle is a better invading species because they have found their way across the country and are commonly found destroying forests everywhere. The beetles have done millions of dollars in damage to trees so far. What makes them even more dangerous is no common cure has been discovered or found. In as little as one day, a tree can have a thousand holes in it just solely from the beetles. 
This makes the tree more susceptible to diseases and eventually dying. This insect is very important to study and get research over before they become a massive threat to destroying huge forests. All in all, until there is a way to stop the Asian longhorn beetle, it will continue to destroy trees across the world and eventually lead to bigger problems.